Naughty, naughty. I definitely am trying to make um, my daily vlogs as realistic as I possibly can. You know, I don't wake up glamorous, hence the way I am right now. Um, but yeah, just gonna try keep it as real and as raw. You know, some days are cool, some days are not so cool. Um, whether it's Kenzie being grumpy or not, or whether it's work just getting the best of me. Today's schedule, <laughs> schedule. Today's day is gonna be um just the usual. Kenzie, work, um, and editing because I did film a few stuff for the collective news, so I actually do want to find any time to edit that. <laughs> Just a disclaimer, this video is not one of those spend the day with me where I'm looking like a snack the whole day. I work from home, I'm a young mom. Why do I need to look pretty when I'm at home all day? Exactly. So, with my first video, I had a lot of positive criticism, you know, but one of the things that um, family and friends told me to improve on was the, the sound of my, of my videos, um, you know, um, it was really, really low and I didn't realize it was low until I actually uploaded it and then I watched it on TV myself. And then I could tell, like, I had to take the volume really up. And then by the time my outro came, my outro was too loud. Oh, I thought Kenzie was awake. My outro was too loud. So I ordered um, a mic from Take A Lot, like the, the lav Lavalier, I don't know how to pronounce it. Those clip on mics. Um, so I ordered that and I'm going to be using it from the next video um as well as my boyfriend decided to lend me he also has another mic but it's those those big fluffy ones so obviously i am hoping that sound will be better from now on because i am filming with my phone but even so i'm not so fussy in terms of the quality because i'm happy with how the quality is obviously it's not as crisp as a camera will be but it's good it's good so just thought i'd mention that because you know to let y'all know that your your comments have been heard you know um so i'm just gonna wash my face right now in which also in terms of washing my face um i 
always had pimples, like since grade seven. I've been struggling with um, pimples and so forth. And when I say I have used everything under the sun, I have used it, you know, except um, like the products that I have here now. Um, in which obviously I will go into detail, you know, should I decide to do a skincare video and so forth. But I got these products and I'm actually committing to a skin routine this time. Like I've never actually set up a skin routine for myself, like whether it be morning or night. And I've never been one to wash my face morning and night. So I'm strictly doing this for two months and hoping to see results because obviously your skin cells do have a 30 day like renewal cycle. Um, so I feel like two months will be sufficient for me to actually see results and see whether this is working, whether this is not. Um, so I will keep you guys updated in that regard. And you know, should it be working for me, I definitely will share it, you know. But uh, you yeah. I say you know too much. Hey guys once again <laughs> i actually ended up falling asleep after putting kenzie to to bed like i worked for a bit you know for probably like an hour and i was so tired <sighs> in which i'm still tired you know because obviously she slept really late and before her waking up at six o'clock she still wakes up for like to be comforted or for like a feeding, you know. So she woke up once at, at 3 a.m. So I'm really, really exhausted. Um, and I've just been feeling very burnt out lately. I'm, I'm so burnt out when it comes to work. Um, you know, it, it, it kind of gets so pain where I feel like I'm literally just forcing myself to to work because my head is not there it's really really not there <sighs> it's not there guys i'm so tired you know i find myself instead of um working and stuff like i'll be on my laptop and i can see some emails coming through but they're not urgent for me to actually get to them then you know so instead of me actually just you know what attending to them and getting that out of the way um i just end up like editing or creating content for the collective news or things of that sort it's i don't know like i just find myself to be very demotivated when it comes to putting effort like to my in my nine to five you know um it might just be that I'm not necessarily enjoying what I'm doing, you know. Um, it's also a thing of I I know myself. I've I have bigger dreams and than where I am, and I think I that that always just hits me. Like I'm always just realizing that 
shit you doing this but you actually want to be somewhere else you know i don't oh gosh without going into too much detail i just basically don't want to be where i am in terms of like workspace you know hence me starting my youtube channel and the collective news i've i've always had a creative mind i've always just wanted to to work for myself and which is another thing of me actually pushing to do as much content as i can and the collective news and um grow my platform but amongst the growth it also comes with a lot of knowledge of me learning how to edit you know learning um you know like how to structure my brand in a sense like both my brands because at the khamalika is its own brand and the collective news is its own brand and the aesthetics of it like i'm learning you know i'm making mistakes but i'm learning for them and i'm liking it you know and like me being where i am at work and it's not stimulating my mind in any way it's really not stimulating my mind and it gets to me you know whenever something there's a deadline and it's stressing me um it gets to me because i'm like i'm i'm stressing about something that won't even matter do you know what i mean like won't even matter once it's done won't even impact my life in a positive way i could be using that energy and placing it towards my future my goals my work you know i don't know if i'm making sense without rambling <laughs> six o'clock now and i actually just wanted to end this video the moment i'm actually just chilling and kinsey's bath and everything of that sort but we have load shedding scheduled for eight o'clock so i don't think i'm going to be able to film everything and trying to position my phone as well as um cooking uh, i need to exercise i need to shower and then she needs to bath and then obviously feed her or at least warm up her food before the electricity goes um so yeah i think i'll just end this vlog here um before this anyway i've just been busy editing a video for the collective news um amongst work <laughs> amongst work um so yeah I'm excited for all the content that I have planned for the collective news as well as planned for this personal channel as well um, one of the upcoming videos that I'm planning to do is a apartment tour but it's gonna be a before and after so right now my apartment is literally just filled of not even filled it just has the basics that you need so a bed um, Kenzie's drawer with her stuff um, you know tv stand couch fridge microwave washing machine all those all the necessities i don't really have like decorations yet and so forth the mirrors or odd pieces to put up so i am excited to get all of that done before i'll actually just try it fit in some videos before the electricity goes um but yeah i will see you guys in the next one